welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got done filming a video on my like red blushes because I was on a whole journey this past like Christmas about red, red blush. Um, and I ended up buying a new red lipstick and there was a whole thing because I lost this lipstick and then I ended up ordering this lips. So we're going to talk about, I figured we'd do a little video on my favorite reds and favorite red formulas and why I like them. And then some, I have a couple of stick options um, that I like, but I don't wear them much anymore and I'll kind of explain why. So if that sounds interesting, stick around, make sure you're subscribed and we're gonna jump into the video. Okay, so kind of what prompted my going through my makeup and decluttering was I could not find this lipstick. This was from Too Faced Holiday Launch like three or four years ago. Um, like all four of them were missing and I like couldn't find them, couldn't find them because all of my Too Faced lipsticks are in one drawer. Um, I have one of the like melted matte and like the squeezy tube and then the rest of them are all like the melted like matte lipsticks. Um, so it was a whole thing. I couldn't find it. I thought, okay, maybe they, maybe I decluttered them. And I was like, no, I wouldn't have decluttered all four of them. Cause there was this shade, like a hot buttered rum, pumpkin spice and sugar cookie, which when they did like two more Christmases later, they did another like matte lipstick and there was sugar cookie again. And then like, I have a full size of the pumpkin spice. So I was like, well, maybe I, you know, I was like, I wouldn't have decluttered all of them. And I was like, well, maybe they went bad, but they wouldn't have all gone bad. So it like was a whole thing. And I was, then that set me on like, I was like, I want a red blush too. So that was a whole thing. So I ended up placing an order from About Face. I got the cream blush, which um, if you go and watch the blush video, um, I show the blush and I swatch it and the whole thing. So I ended up getting, this is a matte painted lip color in Fireside. And I, I have um, like a nudie mustard shade from this brand um, that I already owned with the matching lip liner in Nudist Judas, it's this one, because I wanted like a shade similar to, I think it's Cider from Black Moon, the kind of pukey color that they have. Their lipsticks are very expensive. Well, I ended up ordering this and the lip matching lip liner and I got a free lipstick because it was one of those like she was doing a bunch of sales so I put this in the cart and then I came back and got the blush and fun fact I, you know I kept adding stuff so I got multiple sales so I ended up getting a free lipstick and a free gloss when I ordered you know the lipstick and the blush so I was like I'll try it and matte lip paint I I don't know if it's said on the website, but this is not transfer proof. I would say it's long wearing and it does dry down matte, but it's not completely transfer proof because I was kissing my middle daughter and she got a little bit on her. So that's the only reason that I know that this is not transfer proof. Now, if I'm one of those because I have small children and also when I worked in the salon, when you're cutting hair and there's hair flying around, you want things that are matte and you want things that are not gonna move. So this is a pretty color. I like this kind of vampy red shade, but it's not transfer proof. So then that sent me, I did wear this on Christmas Eve, we went to a party, and I do really like this lip liner. Um, what's the name of the lip liner? I don't know. Forever Flame, and it came I got it as a, as a bundle because it was a little bit cheaper. And then, like I said, I got the pink one for free. And then I got a lip gloss when I bought the blush. Um, but, yeah, just watch the, the blush video. So, there's the lip liner. I like the lip liner. So, I'll use it with my other reds, too. But I'm upset that this is not transfer proof because it is matte. And, I mean, and it is a little bit of a drier formula being matte. I'm just going to put it back in the drawer while I'm sitting here. Um, but it's, I, I want something that's transfer proof. When you have little kids, you don't want to kiss them and get lipstick because it, it was hard to get it off because it's pigmented. So then that sent me back on the hunt. Like what happened? I found these in another drawer. So why I had them 
four of these little minis in a separate drawer from my other ones and the other mini. It was a whole thing. And needless to say, I found it. So one of my favorite red matte lipsticks of all time is the Too Faced Cinnamon Bear. And they only bring this out at holiday time. So Christmas, Thanksgiving, next year, mine still smells. These are perfectly, smells like cinnamon. I should say it, it smells like it's supposed to. It doesn't smell weird. Um, it's a little bit vampy. It's not like a true classic red, but this will dry down matte and it doesn't move. It's not, it's transfer proof transfer like not transfer resistant transfer proof this once it dries down isn't going to go anywhere it is a little bit of a drier formula but if you want transfer proof it's going to be a little bit of a drier formula that's just the nature of the game but like I said I do like the lip liner a lot I'm going to still use the Halsey one I just will keep that in mind that it's not transfer resistant. Well, before I found this, when I realized that the Halsey one wasn't transfer proof, I was like, I really want a red from Too Faced because I like their formula. It dries down, it's transfer proof, blah, 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 blah all the things. Well, the only color they sell in their permanent line is called Lady Balls. I don't know what it is with brands and inappropriate names all of a sudden. Has the normal sweet smell but I ended up ordering this and it's very close to Cinnamon Bear. So if you don't want to try and wait for holiday, there's Lady Balls right there. And again, this will dry down and it's transfer proof. So there's another color option. If you're like me and you are a dingbat and losing makeup. So yeah, the, both of those are color options. This is a little more of a true red, but it then the cinnamon bear I think has a little more brown in it but yeah this is going to dry down and it's not going to move I figured I would get out my other two favorite reds and this is what I should have just worn to the party but I didn't know the Halsey one wasn't transfer proof um this is Jeffree Star unicorn blood feel about him what you may and his lipsticks have kind of a vanilla smell too I'm going to swatch it under cinnamon bear I had this one in a stick in like the bullet form and mine um went bad so there's unicorn blood so it's very similar to cinnamon bear it's a very blood red shade it's not a true red by any means and this is a little bit thinner of a formula it's not quite as opaque as Too Faced formula so you're probably like I had to swipe twice to get it more opaque so you probably have to do one or two dips and then make sure you like shake the tube but um it will dry down and it's transfer proof once it dries down and then the other shade I think I got this in the Halloween mystery box this is in the shade poinsettia so it is a metallic but it's pretty it's a pretty like for holiday and again even with his metallics once they dry down um they're transfer proof so that's a little bit brighter, pretty. So next year, I'm going to be wearing these because I'm on this like red kick all of a sudden. And I'm not somebody that wears a lot of red. But yeah, I figured I'm probably not the only one that has this issue. When you have small children, you don't want to do gloss and you don't want to do like stick lipsticks. You don't want anything that's going to move around. It's the same thing like mentality like when you're in a salon and there's hair flying around. You don't want anything glossy or sticky because especially if you're doing men's haircuts... Ugh, it's gross but I figured I would mention my favorite stick lipsticks I don't wear these often for the fact that I have small kids but my absolute very favorite most favorite is Colourpop in Snow White this was from their princess collection you can find these on like Poshmark and Macari this is not a permit but this is a true red and it's very very flattering um, very, very pretty shade. I've always gotten compliments when I wore this. I did wear this when I was in beauty school. Um, but it's been a long time, but it's a very, very pretty shade of red. So that's Snow White. And then one that I think they still carry because they still carry lippy sticks is Chateau. It's one of their matte X. So it's super matte. And this is very vampy. Like this is probably as vampy. I would say Duchess is probably a close second. I do own that, but that's 
more in the vein of unicorn blood, but very, very vampy. Um, this one, like these matte X ones are weird. You do want to wear a lip liner with it because I've had like a little bit of bleeding, which is weird from a bullet, especially being a dry formula. You want a lip liner because if you've got any lines, it will feather a little bit, which is odd. But yeah, definitely use some sort of a lip liner with that. And then the other one that's good, I have NARS's Shanghai Express, and this is one of their mattes, and it's a, it's a pretty shade. But again, I don't do sticks often. I had a good one from Huda Beauty, and my five-year-old took it and then ended up breaking it, so it's no more, but it's a vampire red. I, I don't know what it is. I've never gotten on with, like, true reds. Um, I like ones that are a little bit more vampy, but you can see, and you can kind of see the Halsey one right here is starting to crack a little bit. So it is very dry, um, but yeah, not completely transfer proof. So that's a bummer. I'll still use it. I'm not going to get rid of it, but just know if you're like me and transfer is an issue, just keep that in mind. I do have one from Fenty. I haven't really used it a whole lot, but their formula is not transfer proof. I have a red one. I got it in a subscription box. Mine's in the color Uncensored. It's pretty. It's a pretty shade, but there's... I knew going in that the Fenty ones were not transfer proof like those. Um, whilst they do... And you can see the Halsey one. It does crack a little bit. So... Just keep that in mind. It's a very dry formula. I make, made sure, I didn't have it like flaking off of my mouth like that. Um, I made sure I moisturized and lip scrubbed really good and then lip lined my entire lip. So there was some color underneath um, just because I hadn't used it before, but the, it, just know it is a very crackly formula. So if you do buy her lipsticks and use them, just put a full coating of some sort of a liner underneath so that when it, if it does flake off, you won't be able to see it. But yeah, it's not a horrible formula. Like it still looked pretty when we came home. It was still there. Um, I had a little bit of wearing like on the inside of my mouth where it had come off, but it still looked good when I came home, but it wasn't transfer proof. So yeah, those are my lipstick recommendations for reds. Cause like I said, I was on a red kick this past winter. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Make sure you're subscribed again if you're not already, and hopefully I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.